Ba weep, grana weep, and bong, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. And today I'm coming back at you with some stuff and things I found from all over Tinterweb. So if you like the sound of that, why not think about giving me a like, a share, and a subscribe because it really does help me out. And now the news, don't touch that dial. First up, I really wanted to share this meme with everybody uh, because I saw it this week and I had a little chuckle. This is from Transformers for Fun by Blue Fox Toy. You should all check out their Facebook page. Some funny, funny memes, but potentially I shouldn't have laughed at this because no sooner had I laughed at this than... Unicron himself reached out to me and gave me a dose of Unicron. So, uh, you may hear in my voice right now that I am kind of hunkered down and just trying to make myself better. But hey, Transformers news can't stop for Unicron. So, away we go. Thank you to everybody, by the way, who gave me all the, the kind messages over on Instagram. They get well soon. Uh, much, much, much love. Thank you very, very much. So let's kick everything off this week with something a little bit lighthearted. There is a person over on TikTok putting The Rock on everything. The Rock on the Statue of Liberty. The Rock on Pikachu or Rockachu. He's 3D printing these things. Probably the most disturbing one is this. It's the dude from SpongeBob with The Rock inside, but... Vector, why are you showing us this? Because there's a rock with Prime on it. <laughs> Rocktimus Prime. Staying with the world of 3D printed figures and Fumbi Studios showed off another thing on their Cyberbase system and this is a metallic claw. Now this thing articulates, can also take the effects pieces from Hasbro and just looks pretty damn good. I mean, I want this. Christmas is coming. I really hope somebody has put a 3D printer in my wrapping under the tree. Hmm, let's see. And speaking of Christmas trees, Fumby Studios next up has this little sub for Rat Trap, which they're also saying can double up as a Christmas decoration. Nice! Xbox Game Pass has updated its collection for December and, well, just this week. They keep dropping more and more things, but of course, something that caught my eye was Transformers Battleground. The worst Transformers game currently on the market, in my opinion, is there. You know my opinion on this. However, I think I might go back and play it because, potentially... I might be able to complete it. Anybody that wants to hit that knows about my review knows that I couldn't complete it because of a glitch and a game breaking bug that kept kicking me out just as I was about to go on to the last level. So maybe I'll give it another spin, maybe I won't, but hey, if you're on Xbox, it's free to play. But there is better turn based strategy games out there. So the not from Mastermind Creations that I reviewed very recently on this channel has come out and I thought there was no way to improve it. But Tim Hedra has found a way to improve it. Look at this Freddy Krueger-esque gauntlet. Make him look like Freddy Krueger, Wolverine, whatever you want. Just put those blades on his arms. I actually think this is a solid improvement for this figure. The blades also come up and double up as knives. This figure is just an outstanding figure no matter what you do to it. The add-ons that you give it, it goes from strength to strength. I mean, these even look like the Gyva Vibration Blades. Absolutely sick. Loving this extension. Shockwave Labs have been working really hard on some of their kits, and they've got this awesome trailer for their huffer and their pipes and all these kind of things. Looking fantastic. Um, also, they have the Sky Shadow weapons and also the double loudspeakers for your blaster as well uh, it's a shame that they you can't remove the hands and put them in and they have to kind of be the, the handheld ones but still looking good moving over to the world of planet x and on planet x oh i really shouldn't do that with my voice when i've got this unicron virus that's that wasn't a good idea at all um but if you're in the market to pick up the apocalypse which is their take 
on Trypticon. And then that's going to be coming back into stock on TF Upgrading Network. The pre-orders are up right now. This is an awesome looking thing from the War for Cybertron. And then also, obviously, if it's just up on TF Upgrading Network, probably check some other sites as well uh, stuff like show Z will probably appear up on there I may look into this but I still haven't received my pieces to fix my um, Grimlock from Planet X so I'm really loath to buy any because the first Planet X thing I picked up was completely broken and I still can't review it X Transbots also let us know that the youth trailer is already out. The G2 trailer will be coming in the first quarter of 2022 with a G2 gravestone and Yasin in January. So big first quarter for X Transbots, especially if you're looking to finish off your G2 Stunticons. Now, usually when I'm talking about big busts on this channel, I'm talking about the stuff from Big Firebird, but this time I'm talking about Exam Studios because they have big busts of Optimus Prime and Megatron. I like the way that they've put them against somebody here to show just how big they are, but that is the most smiley, smiley Megatron I have ever seen in my life. What a grin. Fans Hobby showed off some more pictures of their take on Cab, which again is going to be releasing uh, in a couple of weeks actually. So this is going to be out before Christmas. I still haven't put my pre-order in. I need to put a pre-order in for this to complete my set. And the set looks fantastic together. Um, he does look slightly taller, which I'm glad because the box seems to be a bit thicker than the other one. So he is a little bit bigger, certainly in the uh, alt mode. The whole set together here with their power base set and the other two figures just look incredible. Straight out of the magazine uh, and also out of the anime from back in the day. What a set. Well done to Fans Hobby for actually being able to finish this set. I will completely be honest with everybody as I always try to be on this channel. The quality of these products for me it has been up and down but has been getting better with each release where Ace Hitter was probably the most fun to transform and the best quality out of all the ones that they've released so far. Let me know your thoughts on this set down in the comments. Are you really happy to finally having the Super God Master Force together from Fans Hobby? Moving over to the world of New Age, and we know that New Age have released their take on Optimus Prime, which is called David. And David has so many versions out already, you can't believe there's going to be more. But there is. So when translated, this is the H27OP. The H27EX David OP, the H27T David Translucent version, the H27X Toromo Toxitron, and the H27G David Gold version. So we're going to get a gold version, but what do you think the Toxitron is? What's the Toxitron? I don't know what Toxitron is. Let me know your thoughts on these ones down in the comments. Are you excited for any of these? I'm only excited to understand what Toxitron is. I don't really like the translucent figures too much. Also, New Age have had a Screamer this year. Absolutely awesome. And they look like they're not going to stop going into next year with a Mirage and an Inferno coming. But not only a Mirage and Inferno, we're also going to get an Ironhide. And I have to say, as much as I love you, New Age, I don't like the alt mode on this one already. It just looks a little bit too stunted for me. Magic Square also showed off their prototype for Hound that looks nice. Samurai Workshop over on Weibo also assured us by saying no longer waiting, ready to post new products and new images. So it looks like the scientist couple are going to get a release very, very soon. If you missed TFCon in Toronto, don't worry, all of the exclusives are now currently available up on Ages 3 and Up's website. Uh, the red version of, of Hoist, also known as Lift Ticket, comes with a Santa head and, most importantly for me, a Jack Skellington head, turning him into Jack Skellingtron. Very, very cool. Yes, that is exactly what I want for Christmas. So I might have to hit up ages three and up, try and get myself uh, one of those. Hopefully they ship to the UK. 
Now available in the UK on pre-order is the Kingdom Blaster, probably the last great figure to come from the Kingdom line. It's available on Kapow, also on In Demand as well. Probably Hasbro Pulse, but hey, Hasbro Pulse is going to ship it about six months after everybody else, right? We already know this. And finally, we're going to end on, unfortunately, a sad note. Henry Ornstein died, unfortunately, on December the 14th at the age of 98. Now, if you don't know who he is, he is the person responsible for bringing Transformers to the US. Yes, other people have been credited with bringing the story to life, bringing the characters to life, but the person who actually brought it back and presented it to Hasbro is this guy. So without him, we wouldn't have these Transformers bots that we love. Rest in peace, dude. Thank you very, very much. So that is everything from me on this Transformers Saturday. Uh, thank you as always for your support and thank you for checking out my video today. If you are new around here, please think about giving me a like, a share and a subscribe. We're trying to get to 4.5k by the close of 2021. We're getting there inch by inch every single day, but we can only do it together. So if you do like what I've done, hey, why not give us a quick like? I'm going to go back to bed. And I'll see you in my next video. Alright guys, in a bit. Peace.